diabetes affects the end organs of the body and eye is one of the organs. So eye, kidneys, all the organs are affected. And the most commonly it causes diabetic retinopathy. So this is an eye model. So here you can see this is the corner and outer part what we can see. And this is the retina, the one, another five, six part of the eye which is not seen. Most of our signals of the vision signals to the brain goes through retina. So now the diabetes affects the micro blood vessels of the retina. It causes hemorrhage, swelling, which affects the vision, which we label it as diabetic retinopathy. Medically, as a type of diabetic retinopathy, we label it as proliferative and non-proliferative. Non-proliferative is the early diabetic retinopathy where the vision is affected less. We only get signs of blood vessels uh, getting affected. We see hemorrhages, we see exudates. That is a medical term we use for swelling. But as the diabetes pro progresses, there are some new blood vessels which come on your retina, which are very fragile and they cause more harm than help. So these are we label it as proliferative retinopathy, which in severe cases can reach, lead to retinal detachment the retina can get detached and cause severe complication. Or sometimes the blood vessel may rupture and cause vitreous hemorrhage. There's a jelly between your eye, behind the lens and in front of the retina. That we call vitreous. Sometimes you can find hemorrhage in that. So all said and done, what you need to understand whether your vision is affected or not affected and how you can treat your diabetic retinopathy. most common signs of diabetic retinopathy if you're suffering from diabetes most of the people will have no signs no complaints of diabetes earlier there will be no complaints you might get fluctuation of vision you might find morning my vision is affected then it clears off or frequent change of glasses or sometimes black floaters you can see some black particles between your vision or sometimes you can see the vision is going down suddenly so initially you will have no symptom in early stages and sometimes you can have very drastic symptoms as well. Diabetic retinopathy in earlier stages, if your diabetes is well controlled and they are not early, early it is only early non-proliferative, sometimes we follow the wait and watch approach where we just tell you to treat the diabetes, control the diabetes, change your daily routine and if the problem sorts out we do nothing but sometimes we need to have severe uh, treatment modality if your vision is affected now 80 percent of the vision comes from the center macula macula is a part of retina if macula is affected we have to give injection for the same injection such as anti wedges anti pegf anti wedges what it does it helps the blood and blood vessels to clear off sometimes we need to give steroid injections as well other thing what we can do for diabetic retinopathy is we do lasers. We call it pan-retinal photocoagulation, PRP. We use a green laser. What this green laser does is it reduces the damage done by the micro blood vessels. The exudates are reduced. So basically, it, uh, we do a pan-retinal photocoagulation, we call it, on the retina. Otherly, if your uh, diabetes is severe, if your retina is detached or vitreous hemorrhage, sometimes we do need to go for surgery. The anti vegetative injection is the most common modality. And in this case, sometimes we have to repeat the injections because one injection doesn't suffice. So sometimes we have to give repeated injections for say every one month, we have to give three or four injections. So say three to four months, that is the plan. So all said and done, strict diabetic control is what is required. To diagnose diabetic retinopathy, you have to go to the eye surgeon. We ophthalmologists check your complete eye examination from vision, your glass numbers, your eye pressure, whether early cataract, diabetic cataracts can occur. And then we do a dilated fundus examination. Dilated fundus examination we do by putting eye drops in your eyes. So it dilates your eye so we can see the whole of retina. And after evaluating the whole thing, if required, sometimes we need to do investigations and scans, OCT is the most common scan we do. Sometimes we have to do angiography, FFA. But most probably, we have to diagnose and then treat accordingly. Can diabetic retinopathy be cured? We have 77 million people in India suffering from diabetes today. Soon it will be a number one place 
right now we are second to china so we will be number one and incidence is in india around 12 to 15 percent suffer from diabetic retinopathy now can we cure this diabetic retinopathy now what all the modalities are based whether it is affecting your eye or no but sometimes we do not have a cure sometimes we just have to reduce the progression of the disease for a better vision if diabetes is causing ischemia ischemia is dead of the tissue we cannot rejuvenate it so that is why where we cannot help the patients diabetes can be type 1 type 2 and gestational type 1 diabetes is most because of a genetic reason when we get it in we can see in teenagers and young kids type 2 is more commonly because of lifestyle modification lifestyle changes so it is more commonly seen in adults in gestational diabetes is more where a pregnant women gets diabetes during pregnancy now who is at risk of getting diabetes anyone is at risk of getting diabetes and the risk is proportional to the number of years you are suffering from diabetes so if you have already diabetes say 5 years your chances of getting diabetic retinopathy is there sometimes we do get patients who are diagnosed diabetes this month and have retinopathy also this month because their diagnosis of diabetes is late so depending on that anyone can get diabetic retinopathy other factors like smoking other cholesterol your lipid profile your heart factor all affects your diabetic retinopathy as well so people who have other factors can also get diabetic retinopathy now diabetic retinopathy the most common thing is uncontrolled sugar levels so if you are already diagnosed with diabetes you should get your sugars controlled you should have a regular sugar check as well something called hba1c is a 3 month diabetic glycemic control it is a blood test which tells you whether your diabetes is controlled for 3 months so hba1c should be under a check because today you are checking your sugars and it is in the control and you are going to a doctor everything is fine but your 3 month control is not there so your diabetes is not under control so you should get your hba1c check you should have a regular exercise regimen have diet which is low low sugar index foods so for example if i am having um, ice cream my sugar is going to spike but if i am having something say uh, bajra ki roti or something my sugar spikes are low so you need to maintain your sugar level constantly a good di- diabetic a good sugar control is the key to avoid diabetic retinopathy 